Our news waves are filled with the somber and bleak updates on the spread of COVID-19. Every day we check on the number of infections and the number of dead. While many of us are waiting to get out of this lockdown, we're also wary of what lies on the other side of the lockdown. Will we get infected? Who are the ones likely to get through it okay? And who are the vulnerable ones? Our minds are filled with speculations about the future. We want to know how bad is the bad news going to get? In a world filled with bad news, Easter is a reminder of the good news. The Bible story is also about a disease that has and is ravaging mankind like no other. In fact, every disease is an effect of this disease. This disease is the ultimate cause of all death, strife and evil in the world. And this disease is what the Bible calls as sin. But the biblical story doesn't stop there. The story of the Bible is the story of God who loves mankind and seeks to save us from this disease. This love is ultimately seen in the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. God who became man to save us from the disease of sin. At Easter, we remember that the bad news is now greeted with good news through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But what is this good news? The good news is that the disease called sin has been defeated if we receive his gift by faith. The good news is that death will be defeated and we will also defeat death through a resurrection just like Christ had 2,000 years ago if we repent of our sins and turn to Christ in faith. But the good news isn't just something we wait for at our resurrection. The good news is that Christ changes us now if we confess Jesus as Lord. The good news is that Jesus, the sinless one, atoned for our sin through death on a cross. The good news is that he offers us forgiveness of our sins if we believe that he is the Son of God. The good news is that the curse of sin is lifted and we are no longer condemned if we believe that he rose from the dead. The good news is that he gives us a new life through a new birth if we trust in the promises of God. The good news is that we become united to Christ through this new birth and he will never leave us or forsake us. What needs to spread around the world is this good news, the hope of Easter.